What's up? It's William from Rocketeer, and welcome to another Ookie's Spooky Pixel Art Tutorial. In this video, we're gonna be building a Halloween Vaporeon, and we're gonna be using some black, gray, light gray, orange, and some white wool. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't, go ahead and click that notification bell so you're notified when we make a new video. And you know what? Let's get started. Right, so we're gonna begin by placing four blocks of our black wool. So here we go, we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna have one more black wool coming out of the second block. So make sure you guys have this for the foundation of our Halloween Vaporeon. And now on this left side, we're gonna go up by six. Now we are gonna focus on building the outline first of our Halloween Vaporeon. So make sure you guys have those sets of black wools going up on the left side. Then we're gonna go up and we're gonna have two black wools on the left and then we're gonna have four going to the left so one two three and four amazing then what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna skip two blocks and then on this third block we're gonna place six black wools going to the left so one two three four five six so make sure you guys have those one two three four five six black wools. Then on this left side we're gonna go up by two black wools and then we're gonna have two diagonal black wools. Now every so often after we build something I'm gonna be taking a step back allowing you to have an opportunity to hit pause just in case you need a little bit of extra building time. That way we can keep the video moving at a consistent pace and doesn't take forever and you also have an opportunity to hit pause just in case you need a little bit of extra building time. And I definitely do recommend to take those little breaks. So now let's continue by placing two black wools. And then on this left side, we're gonna go up by three. So one, two, and three. And then a diagonal black on the right. So make sure you guys have this. Feel free to pause it if you need to. Now we're gonna drop down again and we're gonna have two black wools going to the right. And then we're gonna have one diagonal black wool. We're gonna drop down here and we're gonna have another diagonal black wool. And then starting here, we're gonna go up by seven. So here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Amazing, super spooky. This is what we have so far. Remember to pause it if you need to. Now let's continue. We're gonna go down to this row of four that we built not too long ago, and we're gonna add three going down. So one, two, three. And then we're gonna go down and on the left by two black wools. Then we're gonna add one diagonal. Then we're gonna add two black wools going down on this left side. And then on this ground level, we're gonna place one, two, three, four, with one block above the second block from the left. Then we're gonna go up by two black wools on the left side, so one, two. Then we're gonna have one diagonal. And then we are gonna go up by two black wools. Then we're gonna have three diagonal black wools, like so, going up and to the left but starting on the right. Hopefully that made sense. Then we are gonna go up by five black wools. So here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna move to the left and we're gonna start on the third block. So right here, make sure you guys add one black wool on the third block. Then you're gonna have one diagonal black wool. And then to the left of that diagonal, you're going to go down by three. So one, two, and three. Then we're going to drop down and we're going to add four black wools going to the left. So one, two, three, and four. With one black wool going up above the second block on the left. Now on this left side, we're going to go up by two. So we're going to go one, two. And then on the right, we're going to go up by two. And then on the right, we're gonna have two diagonal black wool blocks. Then we're gonna go up by four. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and 
four. Then we're gonna go up by three, so we're gonna go just one, two, and three. So make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. Then we're gonna have four diagonal black wools going down and to the right. So we have one, then two, three, and four. So make sure you guys have those four diagonal black wools going down and to the right. Then we're gonna go ahead and add two black wools going down. Now let's take a big step back. Plus that if you need two, this is what you guys should have so far. Now what we're gonna focus on next is that we need to add 10 black wools. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna add a temporary block. So let's go ahead and add that temporary block. And then above this temporary block, we're gonna place 10 black wools going to the right. So one, let's delete the temporary block. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there you go. Make sure you guys have those 10 black wools going to the right. Then what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna go up and we're gonna add three black wools going to the right. And then we're gonna go up and we're gonna have two black wools going to the right. Then we're gonna have one diagonal black wool. And then we're gonna have four black wools going to the right. Then we're gonna connect two black wools going to the right, right above it. Then we're gonna have two black wools going up on the right side. Then we are gonna have four black wools going up on the right. So one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna have to go up by six on the left. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're gonna have three on the right. So one, two, and three. Then we are also gonna need to have three, but this time on the left side. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Then we are gonna need to have three diagonal black wools going down and to the left. So here we have one, then, whoops, what a mess. Then we have two and three diagonal black wools going down and to the left. So let's take a big step back Pause it if you need to. I know it looks weird, but the more we build, the better it will look. So let's just keep on building. Let's keep this momentum going. So we're gonna go back up here where we have these three diagonals, and then we're gonna go down by two black wools on the left. So one, two. Then we're gonna go down by three diagonal black wools on this left side. Then we're gonna have two black wools going to the left. And then we are gonna go to the left above it by five. So here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five. So make sure you guys have those five black wools going to the left. And then right above the last plug that we placed, we're gonna go up by two black wools. Then we're gonna go up by four on the left side. So one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna have one diagonal on the right and two black wools above it going to the left. Make sure you guys have this so far, pause it if you need to. Then we're gonna go down by four black wools on this left side. So one, two, three, four. And then we're also gonna have another four black wools on this left side. So one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna have one diagonal black wool. And below this diagonal, we're gonna place three black wools going to the left. And then we're gonna go down by two being connected. So now let's take a big step back. Pause it if you need to. And now let's continue. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna have six diagonal black wools. So we have one, then we have two, then we have three, then we have four, then we have five and then we have sits so make sure you guys have those sits diagonal 
black holes going up and to the left. Then we're gonna go down by six black holes on this left side. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Amazing. Now, after those six black holes going down on the left, on this right side, we're gonna go down by three. So we have one, two, three. Then we have one diagonal on the left. Then we're gonna go down by two black holes on the right. Then we're gonna go down by three black holes on the left, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna have one diagonal on the left. Then we're gonna have one diagonal on the right. Then we're gonna go down by two black holes on the right. Then we're gonna have one diagonal black hole. We're gonna go up and we're gonna add three black holes going to the right. And then we're gonna have one diagonal black hole. So now let's take a step back, pause it if you need to. Let's start working on the face outline. So for that, we're gonna go up here where we have these two black holes going down. And then on this left side, we're actually gonna go straight down by six. So let's go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So make sure you guys have the row of sits going down. And then starting right here on this first block, we need to place five diagonal black holes going up and to the left. So we have one, then two, three, four, and five. So make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. Now let's continue. We're gonna drop down here and we're gonna place two black holes going to the right. Then we're gonna have one diagonal black hole. And then we're gonna have another diagonal black hole. And then we're gonna place three black holes going to the left and that's gonna be one of its eyes. And now we can fill it in with three orange holes and two diagonal white holes so awesome make sure you guys have this so far pause it if you need to this would actually be a great little stopping point all right let's continue what we're gonna do so we're gonna drop down here and we're gonna have three diagonal black holes so we have one two and then three so there's our three diagonal black holes so make sure you guys have this then we're gonna drop down and we're gonna have seven black holes going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're gonna go up and we're gonna have two black holes going to the right. Then we're gonna have one diagonal black wool. And then we're gonna have two black holes going to the right. Then we're gonna go up by four. So here we go. We're gonna have one, two, three, four black wools going up. Then we're gonna have two black wools on this left side going up. And then on this bottom block of those two that we just built, we're also gonna have another two black wools going down. Then we're gonna switch to our orange. We're gonna add two orange wools. And then below it, we're gonna add three orange holes. And then we're gonna add two diagonal white holes. We're gonna go back to our black. Below it, we're gonna add a row of four black holes. Then we're gonna have two diagonal black holes. And then above this, we're gonna have one, two, three black holes. So make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. Now what we're gonna need to do is that this part's kind of tricky. So we're gonna go back up here. Do you guys see these three black wools? Well, on this bottom part, we're gonna add one black wool. Then we're gonna have a diagonal black wool going down and to the left. And then we are gonna have two black wools going down, just like that. 
And now we're going to have five diagonal black holes. So we have one, two, three, four, and then five. So make sure you guys have those five diagonal black holes going down to the left. Then we need to add one diagonal going up and to the left. Then we're going to go up and add five black holes to the left. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to drop down and have one diagonal. Then we're going to drop down and have two black holes going to the left. And then finally, one more diagonal going up and to the left. Now for his mouth, what we're going to do is that we're going to drop down here. We're going to grab our gray wool. We're going to place one gray wool right here. So you're going to skip a block. You're going to add a gray wool and then a black wool above it. Then you're going to have two black wools going to the right with one more diagonal black wool. Then we're going to go up. We're going to add a temporary block. And then above this temporary block, you're going to place two black wools going to the right. Delete the temporary block and that's going to be his face. So make sure you guys have this so far, pause it if you need to. He's coming along really, really nicely. I'm super happy. And now it's time to start building his tail and the rest of his little feet. So for that, we need to go back down here where we started. And we're gonna grab our black wool and we're just gonna go up by two black wools on this right side. So make sure you guys go up by two on the right. And then we're gonna go up by four on the left. So we go one, two, three, four, and then we're going to go up by two on the right, one, two, and then we're going to go up by seven on the right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then what we're going to do is that on this right side, we're going to have one diagonal black wool. Then we're going to go up by two, so one, two. One more diagonal black wool. Then we're going to go up by four on the right, so we have one, two, three, four. Then we're going to go up and we're going to have two black wools on the right. Then we're going to have two diagonal black wools and we're gonna go down by one diagonal so you end up with three blocks that look like this remember to pause it if you need to let's take a bigger step back like I said before pause it if you need to and now let's continue we're gonna go up here and then we're gonna have two black wools going to the right then we're gonna drop down and have three black wools going to the right then we're going to have two diagonal black wools going down and to the right. Then we're going to drop down and have three black wools going to the right. Then we're going to go up by three on this right side. So we have one, whoops, I broke it. One, two, three. Then we're going to have two black wools going to the left. We're going to have one diagonal. Then we're going to have three black wools going to the left. And then right here, what we're going to do is that we're going to have another three black wools going up. Then we're going to have two diagonal black wools going up and to the left. Make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. Let's take a big step back, actually. Make sure you guys have this so far. This would be a great stopping point. Okay, so let's continue. We're gonna go back up here where we were just at, and then we're gonna have two black wools going to the left, just like that. And then we're gonna have another two black wools going to the left. Then we're gonna have a diagonal going down, and then a diagonal going up, and then another diagonal going down. So you're left with like a group of three blocks that look like this. Pause it if you need to, you know the deal. Now we're gonna drop it down and we're gonna have two black wools going to the left like that. 
and then one diagonal. So let's take a step back, pause it if you need to, we're not completely done because he has another area right here that we're going to be working on. But for now, make sure you guys have this so far. And now let's continue. You guys see this like weird shape that you guys have going on here? Well, we're going to go over here and we're going to have three diagonal black wool blocks going up and to the left. But I'm going to take a step back and explain it again. So yeah, make sure you guys have three diagonal black wool blocks right there going up and to the left. And then what we're going to do next is that we're going to have six black wools going to the left. So here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to have one diagonal going down and to the left. Then on the left side, we're going to go down by two. Then we're going to have one diagonal black wool. And then we're going to have two black wools going down on the left. And then what we're going to do next is that this time we are going to have four diagonal black wool blocks going down and to the left. So here we go. We have one, then two, three, and four. Make sure you guys have those four diagonal black wool blocks going down and to the left. Then what we're going to do is that over here we're going to have two black wools going down. And then we're going to have four black wolves going down and to the right diagonally like so. So we have one, two, three, and then four diagonal blocks. So hopefully that made sense. I know that was kind of confusing, but it is what it is. Now we're going to go over here and we're going to add one more black wool on the left of this two. And then we're going to go up by four on the left side. So we're going to go one two, three, four. And then here we're going to add one black wool on the right. Then we're going to add one diagonal. And then another diagonal. Make sure you guys have this. I know this was kind of confusing, but this is what we have so far. And now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to start filling in certain parts of our Halloween Vaporeon with some orange wool which is going to be this whole strip of the tail and then this points here, here and here. So I'm going to go ahead and fill everything in that we need to fill in with orange and then I'm going to go back and explain how to do it. So I'll be right back. Awesome and that's what it should look like after you fill everything in with orange and now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to start focusing on like the pattern that he's going to have around his neck. <clears throat> So that's going to be kind of complicated, but I really do believe that we can do it as long as we focus. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go up here. We're going to grab our white wool and we're going to have three diagonal white wools like so. And that's going to be what we're going to be doing to begin our just design that he has around his neck. So make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. So once again, you're going to have this three diagonal white wools. Then over here, we're going to go down by three white wools. And then two white wools on the left. Then we're going to jump to this two black wools going down and we're going to add two white wools going to the right. Then we're going to drop down and in the middle of this three black wools, we're going to add three white wools with one white wool in the middle. Then we're going to drop down. Do you guys see these two diagonal black wools? Well, now we're going to add three white wools to the right. One white wool above it. And to the right of this white wool, we're going to place a cube out of four white wools. Do you guys see this row of three black wools? Well, we're going to add a white wool above it. And then here, we're going to need to make a cube out of four white wools, like so, coming from this little corner. Then we're going to drop down here, you're going to skip a block and you're going to add one white with two white wools above it going to the right. Then you're going to skip a block and add a white. You're going to skip a block and add two white wools going up. You're going to skip two blocks and add a diagonal white wool on the bottom and on the top. So hopefully that made sense, I feel like it didn't, so let me just explain it again. You're going to, oh god I'm breaking everything, what am I doing? So. After this white wool, we're going to skip a block and we're going to go up by two white wools. 
Then we're going to skip two blocks and we're going to add one white wool. And then we're going to add one diagonal. So you're left with something that looks like this. Hopefully that explained it a little bit better. Now do you guys see this row of three? Well now we're going to add two white wools. And then over here we need to add another two white wools just like so. Then we're going to have one diagonal white wool. And then we're going to have three white wools going to the right. Then we need to add one diagonal white. And above this diagonal white we're going to add two white wools to the left. You guys see these two black wools? Well now we're going to add a white wool here. We're going to jump to these two black wools and we're going to add a white wool on the top left of it. Above this white wool we're going to place three white wools going to the left. Then we're going to jump to this row of four and on the second block you're going to add a white. And then on the corner of this white you're going to go up by two white wools and then a white wool on the left. Then you're going to drop down, you're going to skip a block, and then you're going to add three white wools. Then you're going to add one white wool on the top left. You're going to go to these two blacks, and then above this gap that we have here, you're going to place four white wools going to the right. And then you're going to connect two white wools in the bottom going to the right, and two white wools on the top going to the right. So make sure you guys have this so far. Then what we're going to do next is that over here we're going to add one white wool, one block from the top, and then another diagonal, and then another diagonal. So we have a group of three just like we had like somewhere else. Yeah, just like we had here. Then we're going to go over here, we're going to add a white wool, a diagonal white, and then another diagonal white so we're left with this. So make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. I know it was complicated, but I think it does look really, really good. So just, you know, we got to keep this momentum going because I know it's tough, but we will get there. All right, so I am back and now we are going to have to start doing just a couple more things here and there. And in order to bring our little Vaporeon truly to life, we're going to start doing some shading. Now for our shading, we're going to be using some light gray wool. And you know what, let's go ahead and begin in this little foot. So we're going to go over here and we're going to add just two light gray wools. And then a diagonal light gray wool and then another two light gray wools. So make sure you guys add that. Like I said before, in order to bring him to life, we're going to need to do just a little bit of shading. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to add three light gray wools just like that. And then we're going to go up by five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to need to go to the left here. We're going to go up by two, so one, two. And then we're going to go up by three, one, two, three. And then we're going to go up by five, one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to jump to these four black wools, and below it, we're actually going to place four light gray wools. Then we're going to go to this three black wools, and below it we're going to add five light gray wools. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go to this block, and we're going to go down by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to go to this block, and we're going to go down by three. One, two, three. So let's take a step back. Pause it if you need to. Now we're going to need to do a little more shading on this right side. So for this right side, we're going to grab our light gray wool and we're just going to fill in this area right here with seven light gray wools. So you don't really have to count it, just add a row. And then we're going to add three light gray diagonal blocks. And then two right here. Then we're going to go all the way to the tippity tippity tip of his little cute tail and for that we are going to grab our light gray wool and we're going to add three light gray wools right here and then we're going to have two to the left we're going to go up we're going to have two to the left we're going to go up and we're going to have another two to the left and now let's take 
a big old step back because what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna fill in the entire part of his of like his bottom part with some gray wool the rest of his mane which is that like little fleshy thing that he has going on with some gray wool so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back and we're gonna leave the face for last so once again do the rest of his body and this part of like his mane and yeah let's go ahead fill it in and I'll be right back awesome and that's what it should look like after you fill in his body and like his little mane fleshy thing with some dark or I guess just regular gray wool and now we have to do a little shading in the head but it's gonna be slightly different because in the bottom we use light gray for the shading and on the top here we're gonna be using some gray wool for the shading so what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna add a row right here on the bottom out of seven gray wools we're gonna add two gray wools right below his smile and then two diagonal gray wools make sure you guys have this so far for the beginning of your shading then here we're gonna add a row of four then we're gonna add a row of five then we're gonna go one block inwards and starting right here we're gonna do a row of seven so one two three four five six seven then we're gonna go right below this black wool and we're gonna add a row of six and then a row of two and a row of one and then the final step is gonna be to fill in his face with some light gray wool so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. And that's how your Halloween Vaporian should look like after you fill in his face with some light gray wool. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button, hunt that subscribe. You know, go ahead and click that notification bell if you wanna be notified when we post a new video. And you know, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And we'll see you real soon in the next video.